Milk circuit, cappuccino maker and nozzle. For the milk circuit, the service engineer will use the following tools, Phillips and flathead screwdrivers. To access the cappuccino maker, the engineer will need to switch off the machine and unhook the plastic cover of the pouring nozzle. The pouring nozzle contains the cappuccino maker, with the inlet pipe for the steam, in Teflon, at the top, and the milk pipe, in white silicone, on the right. The blue pipe is for coffee, while the red pipe is to add hot water. To remove the pouring nozzle, the engineer will have to press the clip at the back and then release it from its original position. Remove the cappuccino maker and free the upper part from the steam and milk pipes. Washing and air solenoids. Switch off the machine and remove the grounds drawer. Turn the key anti-clockwise and open the front panel. The guides for the milk and coffee pouring tubes are inside the front door of the machine. The milk tube ends in the top part at the milk adjustment valve. To access the milk solenoid valve assembly, the service engineer needs to remove the left side panel, taking out the two screws with a Phillips head screwdriver. The engineer will then disconnect the fastens with the pliers and using a Phillips head screwdriver. He would remove the two screws in the top right of the side panel before returning to the front of the machine and disconnecting the inlet tube for washing water and the milk tube. The engineer will then take out the milk solenoid valve block, the adjustment solenoid for milk foam, the air solenoid for preparing milk with or without foam, and the washing solenoid. Air regulator. With a flathead screwdriver at the top left side of the machine, adjust the air and therefore the milk foam. Turn anti-clockwise to increase the foam and clockwise to reduce it. This operation should be performed while milk is being poured.